Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be battling out some boxes. The Ipsy Glam Bag Plus with the Glossy Box, which there is a $4 price difference, but you do get a decent amount in each box. So with this one, you're supposed to have a value of $125. I don't know what the Glossy Box value is actually supposed to be, so I'll have to put that up here above the box so you guys can see what the price point is supposed to be. But if you guys do want to see which box is better for the value, because the box, Glossy Box is $21 a month and the Ipsy, is, the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month. If you guys want to see what I got in each box, stay tuned and let's get on with the video. Alright, we are going to start with the Glossy Box. This is what the box looks like every month. It comes in this pink box. And again, this is $21 a month. Here is what the packaging looks like. They always tie it up in this little ribbon and you do get a couple coupons this month, which... Hmm. You get one for HelloFresh, so if you would like to use this for HelloFresh, there is the coupon code. And then you get one for Naked Wines, it's a $100 voucher. That is what the coupon code is, so if you guys would like to use that, you can use it. So I do see some like sample size products. This is by Avant, or Avant. it's the Hydra Bright Collagen Eye Restoring Pads. So you do get one set of them, and that is what the packaging looks like. So this is a sample size product, which it will be nice to test these out because I do like having gel patches. I can't tell if it's just one set or if it possibly could be two. I think it's, there's just one set in there. The next product we have is a hair scrunchie. That's cute. And it's by Purely. For 30% off your first order, use code GLOSSYBOX30. So if you want to get some of these scrunchies, you can use that code to get 30% off your first order. Their Instagram handle is at P-U-R-E-L-E-I. That is what the card looks like. So if you guys do want to do it, and that is what the scrunchie looks like. It is a velvet scrunchie, which you know why I am getting kind of warm. So I'll actually use this and see how it does with my hair. It's a very, very tight. So I know this is definitely going to leave, a, you know, crimp in your hair. I should do like old school 80s hairstyle. <laughs> the high ponytail. Okay, so only I only have to do two wraps to get it to hold my hair very good, which it is holding my hair really well. It's just my hair lays weird in ponytails. That's why I normally just throw it up in a bun because it just does not lay right when it's in an actual ponytail. But it does feel nice. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like it's pulling my hair really hard or anything like that. It does feel nice. I just am not used to the bulkiness. <laughs> That is the only thing. I'm not used to the bulkiness. Because over here on this side, my hair always lays weird. And on this side, it will look really nice. I don't get why my hair does that, but it does. Let me make it a high ponytail. It's definitely a high ponytail, but it does look better. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks better that way. But let's get on with this. This is the Tree Hut Sugar Lips. And it is in brown sugar. I've never tried anything from Tree Hut, so this actually seems like a pretty good product for me to have in this box because I've never tested anything out by Tree Hut. And I already have lip products on, so I really can't. It does smell good. That's what it looks like. It looks very nice, which actually my lipsticks have already ran off, so. Oh, it's very, very oily. Mm -hmm. It is severely oily feeling, but it does feel very hydrating. And like the sugar is pretty small. It's not like big chunks, which I'm not getting a whole lot of it on my lip. It was more of the hydrating stuff. But, I mean, it does feel okay. It's not bad. I'm actually happy I got that, along with the eye patches and the scrunchie. The next product I got is by Bybee. I'm guessing it's B-Y-B-I. Strawberry Booster 100% Cold Pressed Strawberry Seed Oil. Well, that's cool. I've never heard of this company before. 
I do like the packaging of it. It is a very, very bright pink, but it is cute. That's what it looks like. And you do get a nice dropper, which I'm going to do just a dollop on my hand just so I can tell you guys what it feels like. This box so far, I have actually started to like a lot because normally I don't really care for too many of the glossy box boxes. It doesn't smell like strawberries whatsoever. It just don't really have a scent to it whatsoever. Like, I don't know. I don't smell anything whatsoever. It just feels very oily because it is an oil. I will see what it feels like if it sets in your skin after we let it sit for a minute. So I'll let you guys know as the video goes. We got six products instead of five. You normally get five products, which I guess I'm not going to complain. <laughs> this is by Mud Masky and this is the Sleep Repair Renewal renewal nourishing mask ph balanced repairing hydrating rejuvenate rejuvenating smoothing and protecting and this looks like it is a sample or a travel size that's what the product looks like in the packaging so you know what i have enough masks as it is already so i'm going to put this in the giveaway for you guys for the july giveaway so this will go in the july giveaway box next product we got ooh, is by candy cosmetics i never heard of these this brand before it's the pre glow up mist get your skin glow ready but that is what the packaging looks like it is very very cute just regular basic packaging oh wow <laughs> um yeah that is what it looks like so let's see exactly what we're supposed to do with this it says spray the mist before or after makeup or on its own for refreshed and glowing skin. Okay, so you know what? I mean, this makeup is fairly new. It's only like maybe a couple hours old. So I will go ahead and test this bad boy out. I'm gonna shake it up really good though because it looks like it has glitter in it. Because it definitely has glitter in it. It's like very finely milled glitter though. Just look how it looks like waves. It's a very weird looking spray. Let's see what the sprayer, how good the sprayer is. Mm. Ugh. It smells like Play-Doh or like clay. Yeah, it smells like, ew, that does not have a good scent. See, that's how it lays on my skin. Okay, I really don't, see much of a glow I don't picture on this does not work very well so this would be more for like after make or before makeup the lip scrub I'm happy with the oil I will I can't wait to test it out it doesn't seem like it really set down into my skin it's still very slippery so I would definitely probably not use this in the during the day I would do this more as in like a night oil night treatment the eye patches, I do want to test them out, and I'll test them out tonight because I love this brand. They're, this brand is very expensive, but it is very good. The spritzer on this, I would use this more as, like, I would say a body spray to put on after I just did, like, my tanning lotion to add a little bit of a glow to me. You know, do my highlighter and then spritz this on my body because it did give me a little bit of a glow on my face, but the spritzer is just not very finely you know it sucks it does it left splotches on my face and i'm not happy about that <laughs> i'm missing a product oh wow <laughs> i totally forgot i had the scrunchie yes okay so the scrunchie was one product i do like that this is going to go in the giveaway for you guys for july's giveaway now on to the ipsy glam bag plus here is the box for this month <clears throat> I didn't get a card this month. Go figure. Unless they put it in the bag. No, they did not. So this is what the bag looks like for this month. I do not care for this month's bags whatsoever. I think they're ugly. I do. Like, yeah, it's nice that they put, you know, women of all color on there. But I just, I don't think it's cute. It's not. I don't like it. It's just a yellow. And it feels very nice. It's like a very nice, thick, fluffy, like foam feeling bag. But I just don't like the design of it whatsoever. The very first product I got is actually ripped at the bottom. Look at that. <laughs> See, the packaging on it's ripped. That's nice. 
but it is by Tula, which I love Tula. It is um, the Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel Broad Spectrum SPF 30 UVA plus UVB Protection. And it's probiotic skincare. Their stuff works very, very good. So I'm actually happy to have this because I've heard Madison Miller talk about their sunscreens. And actually, I think it was this sunscreen in particular. So I'm sure she probably got this in her bags, possibly. I don't know. I haven't got to watch her videos yet. Okay. That is very weird. It looks like it has like glitter in it. It definitely gives a glow. See, this is what that spray that I got in the glossy box should have done. You see that? That is a damn glow. And it feels really good and very hydrating on the skin. Yeah, I would say like lemon, mint, slash sunscreen scent. That's literally what it smells like. It's not very overpowering with either of them. It's just like that perfect amount of scent mixture. It's very, very nice and it feels good. And I'm actually glad because I'm getting low on my Murad sunscreen. And I do have one that I got in my box last month from Ipsy. But I don't really care for that one because it's very oily and it breaks me out. So this one I'm happy to have and it will give me that beautiful glow if I just want to put this on and go out. I'm good. I don't need to put any foundation on. This is Bliss on my Gommage Gentle Polishing Cleanser. So this is a makeup removal stick. I've seen this when they were doing the sneak peeks on Facebook. But that is what the packaging looks like. It smells good. That is what the product looks like. And it is just a basic oil. As you can see right there is where I put it. So it is like an oil. I'm actually happy to have this because I could always use a makeup removal. That comes in handy. It's nice because they give you a plastic cap. Just like the Milk Makeup did with their um, lip and cheek thing. They gave you a cap to put on top of it. That helps from getting a bunch of ugly stuff inside of it. Like if you're carrying your bags and something busts like an eyeshadow. An eyeshadow can get into that and it will just mess it up completely. So I do like it when companies do put them plastic caps on top of it before you have your actual lid. Now this product I did pick because I wanted to make sure I did get some type of fucking makeup product. And this is the, ha the House Laboratory. So this is Lady Gaga's um, makeup. I've not heard very good things about her brand, <laughs> honestly. And it is Ethereal. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ethereal, 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 I don't know. It's a weird name. That is what the box looks like. And like with Lady Gaga, you think like she would have went all out like with a bunch of bright colors or some crazy ass packaging something. But she went with very basic, simple packaging. And a lot of people are saying that you can find these components right here for this style of packaging on a website. Shit, what is it called? I cannot remember what it's called. I will put the name of the website right up here for you guys to see, but I guess you can get this component like super, super cheap on there. Here is what the packaging looks like. I mean, I do like the packaging. It does remind me a lot of my um, Alter Ego company, that company, the Alter Ego brand. It's very similar to the Alter Ego lipsticks. I mean, whoa, that really sped out at me. That is what the applicator looks like. I actually do like the way that applicator looks like because it will be very easy to put your lipstick on. This is a lip gloss. Okay. That's actually really pretty. This lip gloss is really, really sticky, but it is very pretty. It is a very, very light, like, pinky mauve. It's more pink, but it does have a little bit of a mauve tint into it, but it is very pretty. This is by the company Nacific, I think is what it's called. And it's the Fresh Herb Origin Eye Cream. Packaging looks like, it's actually pretty cute. It makes me look like, or makes me feel like it's all organic. It says, from nature, only essential ingredients with you. Nacific believes in healthy ingredients for strong, healthy, glowing skin, nourish, repair, damage, soothing, or soothe irritation and revitalize the skin with naturalistic products. Okay, after cleansing and toning, gently tap a pea-sized amount of formula on the eye around morning and my or morning and night <laughs> with niacinamide and this lightweight, fast-absorbing eye cream helps to achieve a smooth and youthful eye area by preventing dark circles, fine lines, and wrinkles. So I will be happy to try this one out because 
I go through eye creams like crazy. <laughs> I use them every single day, morning and night. Oh, okay. That is what the packaging looks like. It's actually very cute, and you do get a lot with this. You get 30 mLs in it, so you get a full fluid ounce in this. I wonder how expensive this is. For getting this amount for an eye cream, it's definitely got to be expensive. So you do get a little pulley tab, and that's what it looks like right there. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, it's actually very, very soothing. Wow, that is very, very creamy. It just feels like a velvety cream. Mm, and it smells good. It smells very earthy. It does. It smells very, very earthy. Mm, I like that a lot. I'm actually so glad I got that, but I need, I, I want more makeup. I don't want so much damn skincare. <laughs> Quit giving me so fucking much skincare. And I would be happy. <laughs> the next product is the Seat London. I was so surprised that I even got this. Um, it's the Marbled Metals Metallic Glitter Eyeshadow, and it is in Wicked. What the fuck? That does not sound good whatsoever. That is what the packaging looks like. It sounds like it's like broke or something. No, but the cap's not on all the way. Huh. That's weird. My cap was a twisted one all the way. That's why it was rattling like that. Like it was doing that. That's what it should sound like. That's nice. I wonder if it got dried out from it not being screwed on all the way. That is what the eyeshadow looks like. At least I got some kind of color. I got purple at least. <laughs> and there is the pot for it. And I do like Seat London products. Seat London products are actually really good. A lot of people think they're basically like a joke of a company, but I actually do like their products a lot. Look at that. Mm. I love these purples that have like the brown undertones into them and all these like different colored glitter reflex because it makes them so pretty. It does. It is very nice. That is more sheared out and that is with it built up. So you know what, I kind of want to be colorful and put, and it is like a very creamy, creamy texture. It doesn't feel like you're going to really have fallout with it because it is such a really nice creamy feeling to it. Hmm. That's actually really pretty. Here, I'm going to have to do this with my finger. That is really pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot. That is really nice. Neither side looks the same. <laughs> it is a nice eyeshadow. It's very creamy. I do like the color of it. It is very nice. And it does have a little bit of a reflect. I would definitely have to build it up a little bit more. But I already have the Tarte Chrome Paint Pot on my eye already, so it's kind of hard going on top of another cream. It's not one it stick to very well, but it is a really pretty shade. I do like that a lot. It is nice. So that is everything I got in my Ipsy Glam Back Plus. If you guys did like me battling these out, let me know, and I will let you guys know whether or not I'll do future videos like this with these two battling it out against each other since I don't have BoxyCharm anymore. I only have the premium, not the base box, because the base box just wasn't cutting it for me anymore. I'm so glad I haven't got it the last, like, two months because it sucks. It's really sucked. It has. I'm very satisfied with both boxes. With the Glossy Box, I got a lot of full-size products and actually got six products instead of five. And with my Itsy, I did get some really nice skincare products, but I always get more skincare than I do makeup, which I would like to have more makeup than skincare because I would rather focus more on getting extra skincare products in the winter time than in the summer because in the summer I do do skincare all the time but I already have enough and I would more like to focus on the makeup part of Ipsy but I mean with both I honestly I would have to say I like them both a lot I can't really pick one or the other it's kind of hard to do that <laughs> because with the glossy box you do get a lot of skincare with it every single time you get more skincare than anything 
I don't think I got any makeup whatsoever with the glossy box. And with the glossy box, I got literally all skincare products other than the scrunchie. So that one, I'm used to that. I can't really pick on who won because they both were kind of the same other than Ipsy throwing in the two makeup products and that is literally it. So I would have to say this would be a tie. Honestly, I, it's kind of hard to pick which one who would win. But value wise, I don't know the value on either because I didn't get a card for Ipsy and I don't have the price points for the glossy box because they didn't give me a card either because you normally do get a card and it will explain what the product is for, what it is, and the price. And if it's like the full size sample or travel, that kind of thing, it will let you know just like the Ipsy, you know, Glam Back and Glam Back Plus and the Ultimate does. So if you guys do like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys do like me and like watching my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and it will notify you every single time I upload. I hope you guys have a great day or night. Bye.